so in this lecture we will talk about diffraction of light its types and the comparison between Fresnel's and Fraunhofer's glass so by definition diffraction is bending of light around edges of obstacle let us take example of obstacle as a knife edge which is kept in front of a point source of light so point source of light will give out a spherical wave front which will be propagating in forward direction so the wave front which is coming out from the point source will be obstructed by the knife edge and then it will reach to the screen so according to ray optics it will be expected that half of the screen which is above the knife edge should have uniform illumination and the area which is just behind the knife edge should be in completely dark that we define as a shadow region so this is according to ray optics but it doesn't happen like that because of the bending of light around sharp edges so instead of illuminated region what we get is a diffraction pattern for straight edge for which there are maximas and minimas and the intensity of maxima will keep on decreasing as we go away from the center and also it is noteworthy that at the line joining the center of the source to knife edge to the screen the intensity of light is not non-zero over there and it exponentially decays as we go more into the shadow region so practically this diffraction pattern looks like this as you can see the intensity as well as width of the maxima is decreasing as you go away from the center now let us look at the condition when diffraction is happening at a narrow opening or slit here narrow opening can take any kind of shape like square circle or triangle but slit is essentially rectangular the time this opening or slit is very very big we get the geometric shadow on the screen which is shown here as SS prime but as we start to reduce the width of the slit and when the width of the slit becomes comparable to wavelength of light instead of getting a sharp illuminated portion and striking contrast between the illuminated and the shadow region what we get is a diffraction pattern or if we try and look at its intensity profile it will come like this this is called as diffraction pattern so it is nothing but redistribution of light intensity when it passes through a narrow or small opening so spread of a wave when it passes through narrow opening is called as diffraction and the pattern that we obtain on the screen is called as diffraction pattern diffraction pattern very much depend upon the nature of wave front so if we have a point source it gives out a spherical wave front but if and only if we are very close to that source here for example if we have point source which is giving out spherical wave front as the distance of observation start to increase the curvature start to decrease and at a very large distance point source can be treated as a planar source for example sun is a point source of light but the kind of wave front we receive on earth is a planar wave front so so this is one way to generate a planar wave front that a point source is kept at a very large distance or another one is to have a source which has a directly planar wave front like lasers now let us look at diffraction in more detail let's say we have a point source of light which is giving out spherical wave front from Huygens principle we know that every point on this wave front will act as a secondary source of light and will emit spherical wave front of its own so all these wave fronts will interfere with each other to give out the resultant pattern hence diffraction is the interference among all those secondary sources inside the slit that is the basic difference between interference and diffraction in interference we have physically separate coherent sources which interfere and in diffraction we have secondary sources which are inside the opening or slit because of the superposition of wave fronts phases are changing very rapidly therefore if screen is kept very close to this slit the pattern will be very much irregular and we can even obtain a minima at the center of the screen but 
as we start to increase the screen distance pattern will start to stabilize because as the distance is increasing these wave fronts are also becoming more and more planar and at a very far distance pattern will stabilize and then it will not change so depending upon these nature of diffraction pattern diffraction is divided into two classes one is fresnel and other is fraunhofer fresnel is the class when wave front is spherical or cylindrical or it can also be defined if the distance is finite whereas fraunhofer class is when the distances are infinite or wave front is planar when distance is infinite and wave fronts are planar so let us have a look at the diagram for fresnel and fraunhofer again if we have a spherical wave front which is obstructed by a slit then deviated wave front will also be spherical and keep in mind that as the distance of the screen will vary this kind of diffraction will be severely affected by the change in the screen distance whereas in case of fraunhofer the pattern obtained on the screen is independent of the distance between slit and the screen as the wave front which is incident on the slit as well as diffracted from the screen both are planar in nature now let us compare the two classes of diffraction depending upon their properties let me show you first the images of both the patterns as you can see the fresnel's pattern is of very less intensity and is having a minima in between please ignore the grid lines those are because the pattern was captured on the graph paper and the one which is there in front of us is much bright and also the intensity change as you go away from the center is pretty abrupt as compared to that in fresnel's one so in fresnel's case we can also have a pattern where center is bright so it can be either bri bright or dark so first property distance in fresnel's class source or the screen or both are at finite distance from the aperture so it is called as a near field diffraction in case of fraunhofer's diffraction both source and the screen are effectively at infinite distance from the aperture hence it is called as far field diffraction then nature of wave front fresnel has spherical or cylindrical wave front whereas fraunhofer has a planar wave front there is no lens used in fresnel's class whereas fraunhofer's involve use of converging lenses central spot either dark or bright in fresnel's and always bright in fraunhofer's intensity of successive maxima decreases gradually as you can see in the image whereas in case of fraunhofer's intensity decreases abruptly as the order increases shape of the pattern it is very much dependent upon screen distance in fresnel's class as it's a diverging wave front whereas because fraunhofer's it's a planar wave front which will be ultimately collimated onto the screen with the help of lens so it does not depend upon distance and last the condition which is a rule of thumb to define fraunhofer's and fresnel's condition the relationship between r and a square by lambda where a is the width of the aperture or in ca case of obstacle it can be width of obstacle too lambda is the wavelength of monochromatic light and r is the smaller of the two distances which two distances in each case the distance between source and the obstacle and obstacle and the screen whichever is smaller that you treat as r if that r is less than a square by lambda it is fresnel's class if it is greater than a square by lambda then it is fraunhofer's class so in this lecture we discussed about diffraction and its types in the next lecture we will be discussing more about fresnel's class of diffraction so that's it for this video thanks for watching